What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Virgo sun sign friends. If you were born between the dates of August 23rd and September 22nd then you are a Virgo sun sign and this video is for you. December is upon us. I can't believe 2018 has come to a close or is about to but we're at the home stretch now and uh, I wanted to take a look at the month of December and see what it's got in store of us, how we, what it has in store for us, <laughs> um, how we can make it the best month possible. Uh, so I came up with a spread that's going to tell us the overall energies, what to hold on to, what to let go of, and also what message uh, the universe has for my Virgo friends this December. And uh, we're going to be using the Anna K Tarot for the tarot reading, and then at the end we're going to do an oracle reading with the or uh, Untamed Truth Oracle is what it's called. Uh, so I've already shuffled the cards, I've already laid them out, so let's get right into it. We're going to start with this card, which represents the overall energies of Virgo Sun Signs this December. And we have the Three of Pentacles. I get the feeling that December is going to be a month for a lot of you to kind of focus on your craft, to focus on improving. And uh, this could probably, for most of you, entail your work or your career and just putting in some time and effort there. Uh, maybe before the holiday season, you want to get a, a lot of work done and you want to um, you know, finish off a few things, um, make a little bit more money so you have more presents to buy <laughs> or whatever it is. I don't know. Uh, but I see this as a time to focus on the physical, focus on money, focus on um, creating wealth. Uh, for, for some of you, this will entail art and whatever your creative passions are. And you'll want to really focus on that and really improve in that area and really hunker down. And, and that could be the focus of the month, sort of, is just improving your, your skills in that realm. Uh, this could be your hobbies as well. But this is a really, I'm really getting the, the feeling of being focused and really trying to improve and really trying to make things happen. Uh, so whatever it is that you like to spend a lot of time doing, I think uh, we're going to see improvement in that area. We're going to see a focus in that area. And we're going to see uh, advancement in that area. And, you know, this is a general reading for a large group of people. So I can't say specifically which area, but I think you know whichever area you are focused on, <laughs> right? Whatever uh, task or job or um, work you're focused on this month, I think you're going to see improvement in that area. So that's good. Uh, let's move on over to this card, which represents what to hold on to this December, Virgo friends. Oh, okay. And we've got the Fool. And the feeling I'm getting here is, you know, while you're so heavily focused on the pragmatic, you know, improving slowly and steadily approach, uh, don't forget to take some risks. Don't forget to have fun and go on adventures. I can't be all all nose to the grindstone, and I think uh, your guides and the universe is suggesting that you, you know, maybe you take some risks, take some chances, do something unexpected this December. It's not, you can't uh, you can't maintain this Three of Pentacles energy for a whole month. I think you need to break it up a little bit with some a trip somewhere, maybe, or maybe doing something that you haven't tried before. You know, the Fool is all about going on a new adventure that's it's it's foreign to you. And uh, doing it with an open heart and not worrying about the consequences, not stressing over how it's all going to happen. It's just going on a whim and kind of just throwing caution into the wind and, and doing something new, going on a new adventure. So maintain that spirit. Maintain that energy as much as you can while you're focused on the three of pentacles, while you're focused on your work or your job or your, your hobby or your art. And uh, take some chances, take some risks, and I think that'll actually help you with the Three of Pentacles, right? When we keep doing the same thing over and over, it starts to get stale sometimes. But uh, the Fool is here to tell us, you know, do something differently and see what happens. Okay, maybe it'll fail, okay? Who knows? Okay, maybe the Fool will walk right off a cliff. It's possible, okay? But you'll never, um, you'll never take huge advancements if you don't take that risk. And just keeping in mind that if you do fail, if your risk does fail, you will have learned more than you would have in any other way. Than if it had been a shining success. You still have learned more through your failures than through your successes. So a failure is a success and a success is a success. So why not take some risks? Okay. 
All right, so let's move on over to this card, which represents what to let go of, my Virgo friends, this December. And we've got the star card, Major Arcana here. We've got two Major Arcanas. Give me a moment with this one. I don't know. I, I think what this card is telling me is not the traditional meaning for the star. I mean, it's telling me to... Um, it's asking you to kind of stay grounded. Don't go too far off into the fool, <laughs> okay? Uh, it, it's, I think it's what it's really telling me to tell you is that, you know, I, I hyped up the fool a lot and, and take, the, take the risks and, and go big, right? Uh, but this card is telling me to tell you to take that advice, but not so much. Don't go crazy with the fool energy. Don't be so open and exposed that you become vulnerable. Uh, so I think practically what this card is saying is to be realistic. I think that's the best thing to say. Be a little bit more realistic with uh, what you can accomplish this month. Don't be so, right? If Okay, let's say you got the Three of Pentacles energy. You want to work hard. You want to improve and you want to get things done. Uh, if you're not realistic about what you can accomplish, it's very easy to drive yourself into the ground and just become exhausted. And then you don't reach your goals and then you become depressed, right? Uh, and, and it's just, it's all bad, <laughs> okay? But if you set a realistic goal, if you have realistic expectations for what you can accomplish this month, then you won't be disappointed. You will, you will reach your goals and then you'll get that morale boost, that ego boost of, you know, I accomplished my goals. It was awesome. I can do it. I can do it again, and uh, that's such a m more positive energy than if you had set like a, an extreme goal for yourself, you don't reach it, and then you think yourself a failure. So uh, be more realistic, be more pragmatic about what you can get done, so that you're not working, you know, 12 hours a day to try to to meet some unrealistic goal. Make sense? All right, cool. Let's move on over now to the Untamed Truth Oracle. And we're going to ask it what message it has for my Virgo friends this December. What message for Virgo sun signs this December? <laughs> I just cut the whole deck. All right, but a little piece stuck. All right, Untamed Truth Oracle, what do you have for us? You have security. Oh, okay. Um, I think the universe is asking you to remember that you are taken care of. Okay, you're not all alone here, right? You have your friends, you have your family, you have the support of strangers, right? You have all this uh, support in the physical realms. But more than that, you have support in the non-physical realms. You have your guides, you have your higher self, you have your angels, you have all these entities that are looking out for you, that want to help you, that want to support you, that want to provide security and safety and all these things for you, uh, especially love. They want to give you love. And you are well taken care of whether you realize it or not. And that's something to keep with you this December. Realize that it's not all on you. You have support, even if you can't see them with your eyeballs, <laughs> okay? There is support there. Um, you know, the reason I say I, I see this very, um, what's the word? Not intimidating, but this, this snowy landscape that would kill you, right? If you were caught out in the snow like this, you would die in a matter of hours, maybe. Uh, but you have a, a roof over your head. You have warmth in the house. You have lights and electricity or whatever. The light's coming out of this house. You have a bastion of security in a landscape of danger. And that's important. That's important. So remember that. Whenever you feel discouraged this month or uh, alone or sad, um, remember that. Remember that you are taken care of and uh, nothing that you can't handle will ever be given to you. 
Okay, makes sense. All right, that is the reading for my Virgo friends this December. I hope you guys got something out of that. Again, I want to state that this is a general reading for a large group of people. Not everything is meant to resonate with everyone. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can do so uh, through my website, lightofriga.com, and the link is in the description box below. Uh, be sure to do all the YouTube stuff, the liking, sharing, subscribing, the commenting. I really do appreciate all the interactions that you do on this channel, so thank you for that. And I think that's going to do it for this month. I want to wish you a happy December, Virgo friends. I want to wish you love and light. I want to thank you for watching. So please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarot Peace and love.